Hey guys, I'm Sally Jessica Wu and I am at Chef Steps at Pike Place in Seattle, Washington. And today is my first episode of Let's Make Some Lunch. Woo. And my first guest is Joanne Milanaro. She is a New York Times best-selling cookbook author. She's one of my amazing friends. Um, she was a lawyer. She is all the things. So today we are going to be making kampungi, uh, kampung crispy tofu. Yes. It's so, so good. It's actually my most popular recipe in both my cookbook and my YouTube channel. I'm so excited to show you. Really, really easy, and this is like restaurant, restaurant quality food. That's what all my friends say, and you're gonna say the same thing too once you try it. The very first step is we are going to press our tofu. Now, if you have high density protein tofu, you do not need to do this, but if you have extra firm tofu, you're gonna to wanna to press it for at least 10 minutes. Now, what does pressing mean? Pressing means that you're just gonna put a very heavy weight on top of your tofu, and that's gonna expel all the extra liquid in the tofu so that it's so super spongy and it gets all of the delicious flavors we're gonna make in our sauce. Now, the folks here at Chef Steps have provided us with this like super fancy artisan looking wooden <laughs> tofu press. If it's so fancy. I know. If you don't have this, just stack a couple of your favorite cookbooks on top of your tofu and put a little kitchen towel on the bottom to collect all your tofu juices. I am going to be dicing up a red onion and some green onions. And I am going to be small dicing uh, our carrot here and mincing a lot of garlic. Okay, so it doesn't need to be like a beautiful mince. In fact, I kind of prefer it a little chunkier, okay. so that's fine. Leisurely removing the tofu from its torture device, yes. tofu -ture. Oh, there we go. Look at all that liquid that came out of there. Drink it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'll show you like kind of what size or... Smaller. You know, you could just... Use your hands to like just, just tear it up. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Mm hmm Like that. What should I ask you? What do I need to know? Do you want to have kids? <laughs> Are you? <laughs> That's such a complicated answer. <laughs> uh, sometimes I want to have kids, and then I go to the airport, and I'm really glad that I can't. <laughs> so. <laughs> My girls are actually really good at traveling. No, your, your girls are why I want to have kids. Yeah. But unfortunately, I think that I can't. So no. I wish I could. Yeah. Have you ever thought of adoption? I have. You know, I, um, you know how I feel about animals, and I love adopting animals. And for the same reason, I feel like you know, I have a beautiful home, and I have a nice life. And maybe it's my obligation to you know, extend that to people who don't. But, you know, being a parent is not always a one-person job when you're married. You got to get your partner on board with that, and we haven't really had that kind of conversation no. yet. Yeah, maybe we'll get there. I don't Anthony's know. Anthony's a no-kid policy kind of guy. Anthony likes his life. Yeah. <laughs> Especially at the airport. Right. And that's understandable. Yeah. Not everyone has um, all right. So we got this. Now we got to add our kanjakaru. So this is potato starch, and then we could also add just a little pinch of salt there for a little extra flavor. And then we're just gonna kinda toss. I'll try to do it, but I am short. <laughs> just make sure it's nice and evenly coated with that kamjakaru, of course, potato starch. Vegetable oil. We want that to get nice and hot before we add our tofu. Otherwise, the oil will just get sucked up by the potato starch and the tofu, and you'll have soggy tofu instead of beautiful, crisp, crunchy tofu. Talk when are you guys gonna get a dog? I know at we least- We have two dogs. Oh, you do? We do have That's two right. dogs. Oh, okay. I know, I wanted to get Olive a dog, but we already have two. What kind of dogs do you have? They're Chihuahua oh, mixes. Yeah. One's a Chihuini. <laughs> what and, are their names? Um, Butter and Darla. Oh, that's so cute. Are you getting another dog? No, is the question. I would love to get another dog because I love dogs. I'm thinking about coming out with a t-shirt. Y'all should comment below and let me know if you would buy this t-shirt called I am a dog friendly human. 
because I want people to know when they're walking their dogs, they can walk their dogs around me and I can pet them. That's a good one. Yeah, yeah that's like, a good one. People are always afraid, like, oh, are you a dog person or not? I'm like, I am a dog person. I will pet your dog. I will walk your dog. I will play with your dog. <laughs> All right, so our oil is getting nice and crispy hot, so let's just start adding very gently. It's really important that your tofu does not touch each other because potato starch loves to stick to each other. So if your pan does not accommodate all of your tofu, you're gonna have to do it in batches. I don't know what to tell you guys. Get a bigger pan. <laughs> like us, <laughs> yeah. we need a bigger pan. We need a bigger pan, <laughs> but this is what we got. <laughs> For the sauce, we are mixing soy sauce, maple syrup, marin, white wine vinegar, pochicado, or Korean, hot red pepper flakes, salt, and sesame oil. So you are going to want to flip them around a little bit so they get golden and crispy on all the sides. And Jess is really smart and instead of chopping it up with a knife, we kind of pulled it apart with our hands. And then we get this beautiful, like, craggy sort of texture on the outside. And what's that going to do? It's going to catch all of the beautiful sauce we're going to make so that the tofu is really going to be sucking up all that gorgeous sauce we're making. I'm hungry. I know. I'm hungry, too. How's living in California? California living is really wonderful. The weather is great. Um, and. I really love my friends. <laughs> I love my friends who live on the West Coast and who come to my house and eat all my bread. <laughs> Me. So I went to Joanne's house not too long ago and of course she made me um, some bread. It was like a brioche loaf. Yes. And it was so good and it was vegan. She made it with tofu and I, I had three slices. <laughs> it was really good. It was really good. Yeah. And I really wanted her to make bread today with me, but she was like... It takes 24 it hours. It takes too long. It's a lot of work, and it requires... A lot of work. A very <laughs> it was a lot of <laughs> excuses. <laughs> <laughs> I'll make it again for um, a different video. That's what we'll do. But it was, yeah, so good. If you guys get to make her a recipe, she, she probably hasn't released it out yet. No, it's for the cookbook. Um, but yeah, you'll find that in our next cookbook. She's working on our second one already. Yes, I know. And I'm so excited. Aren't you also working on a cookbook, Jess? Maybe. Maybe. It's not out in the public yet. Oh, okay. But maybe this will be the <laughs> soft be launch. The soft launch of the whole experience. <laughs> yeah. Well, I think if you haven't already thought about doing it, you should. Because I would totally buy your cookbook. Thanks. <laughs> Even right. though it's not vegan. Even if it's, I'm sure you'll include vegan options or veganizable options. Yeah. I do have a section in my supposed In your imaginary the, yeah, hypothetical <laughs> vegan substitution. <laughs> See, she thinks of it all because she's brilliant. <laughs> all right. I think we could probably take these off now. Okay. Yeah. These look good. Yeah. So we're going to take these off. Okay. So we have all of our tofu out. Now let's start sauteing. Beautiful. Just the whites of the scallions. We want that to cook for a couple minutes until everything gets nice and soft and aromatic. What is one thing you wish your parents talked to you about growing up? What about the other side? I wish my parents had told me more about their story, uh, what their lives were like when they were growing up, because I really had no clue about what their lives were like when they were my age until I was like 40. And that's when I started to ask them like, oh, what kind of food did you like to eat when you were little? What was your favorite game to play when you were little? And it revealed so much about how different Korea was than America yeah. and how very different their lives were than my own and how grateful I am for all the sacrifices they made for me. Yeah. How about you? Um, I don't know. I feel like my parents 
Well, my mom especially lied about a lot of things. Yeah, to protect yeah, you. Yeah, so I just wish she was a little bit more truthful. Not to protect me, you know? Like, I feel like I should have just known the truth. Mm. And she'll just be like, she'll say something and be like, you'll find out when you're older. But I didn't want to, yeah. you know? Like, I want to know then. And I feel like kids are capable of you know, taking the truth in, honestly, and that's I feel like true. that's how I am with my kids now. Your kids are a good example of that. Mm. My mom was like, especially like my Chinese part. Um, she kind of kept that from me a lot mm. because she was like, Korean, 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 Korean. you're Korean. Mm. And my Chinese side, I, you know, I barely even knew, so. Well, there's still time for you to discover that side, right? Yeah, <laughs> definitely. All right, so we're gonna add good. our sauce now and we're gonna take it off the heat completely. So we're going to turn off the heat and then add the sauce. Okay. And we're just going to stir that up. And then can you add a little bit of that water to this? Yes. And the potato starch. Oops, I forgot to close it. Oh, oh okay. Yeah. So that's why it's not thickening. Yeah, okay, sorry about that. <laughs> potato starch. You want to mix this in with the sauce? Uh, with the liquid, but. Uh, I made a boo-boo. Okay. If you forget, you can always do what Jess did. Add a little bit of water, maybe just a... There we go. That's good. That's good. Okay, and then what we're going to do is we're just going to add our tofu back in to the pan here and just gently coat it with that gorgeous sauce. Delicious. Mm -hmm. God, it smells so good. And then we're just going to garnish it with a little bit of sliced green, uh, scallion greens, and then some sesame seeds. Look at that. And Look then that. you just eat this with a little bit of rice. Okay. All right, let's have some lunch. Yeah, let's have some lunch or breakfast. Do you want it on top? Ah, <laughs> uh, sure. Beautiful. Thank you. Okay, let's Yummy. give it a try. Yeah. I'm gonna do a big <laughs> spoonful. Stick the whole thing in your mouth. Don't burn your mouth. That's <laughs> okay. Mmm. Mmm. Yummy. Mm. Oh, it's so good. It's salty, a little bit spicy. Tangy. Tangy. Mm -hmm. Super yummy. Mmm. And very garlicky. We put practically an entire head of garlic in there. Thanks for being on this episode of Let's Make Some Lunch. Thanks for having me, Jess. And make sure you guys make this recipe. Let us know how it goes. You can follow Joanne at, at the Korean Vegan everywhere. She's on TikTok, YouTube, Instagram, and Snapchat, Twitter. All the things. All the things. You can follow me at Sully Jessica. Tune in next time for another episode. I'm inside Seattle. <laughs> and I am at Chef's Chef 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 Steps. Chef Steps. Yes. Chef Steps. And I am inside Chef Steps Kitchen at Pike's Mark Pike's Place. It's so hard! Pike's Pike's Place. Pike Place. And I am at Chef Steps at Pike uh, <laughs> Sorry! <laughs> but Pike Place, Chef Steps. Hey guys. Hey guys. <laughs>